potentially lose. In Star Wars, they always played up like, oh, Han, your ship sucks dick. This is the worst. And then, like, the function of a ship to go very, very fast, like, it seems like he actually had a really good ship, right? Star Wars is fucking lame as shit. Star Wars is fucking stupid, man. I don't even want... I hate Star Wars so much. I mean, I'm not that passionate, but I, I, I watch it. Yeah. I, I fucking hate it. I like it all. I hate it so much. I, I, and I, I wonder, Kyle, if you could do a little seen introspection for a moment. Is it possible that the reason you just like Star Wars is because you walk into the app looking for a five, and then you only see a four? I think it's just awful. Like like the mm. new ones, I hate the social justice warrior stuff. They cram down your throat. I hate all the... What social justice warrior stuff? I might just be less sensitive to it. I mean, we could spend an hour on on, on it. You know, it's... it's, it's just because the main the character's ones, a girl? Like, how many have there been in like the recent couple years? There were the three originals, the three in the early 2000s, and then how many yeah. have there been now? They, they've made two more plus a Four. Han Solo movie. And, okay, so uh, I've only uh, seen the original six. Oh yeah! Wow. There, they've done like, four more, like twelve or something okay. like that. Now, it's it, yeah. it, there's the original six plus there's two more that are continuing on with their their yeah. storyline, the Han Solo movie, and okay. then the uh, the movie where the rebels go and get the plans for the Death Star. That's how but I got. But what were to you, you were saying? Why you hated the new ones? They were just shit. Look, there, there's never been a good Star Wars movie. Just Agreed. to be clear, like like yep. they're all they're all bad. They're all ba they're all terrible, hammy acting. They're all bad special effects <laughs> by, by, by modern standards. <laughs> That the, the plot lines don't make any sense. The villains don't make any sense. <laughs> they, they they've gone back and forth They're so much brown. that they can't decide. <laughs> like 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 look. The prequels are just garbage. When you look at characters like Jar Jar Binks, when you look at like how the the battles are fought, the pod like, racing was cool. I pod hated the best. My cool. least favorite moment in the whole homes. thing. Like well, I saw it when I was like is twelve. So I was like, this is perfect for you. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it just just I I really hate. Star Wars, and, and I've tried to give it a chance. And look, I, I bet if I bet if you gave J.J. Abrams Star Wars and let him start from scratch, he'd probably make a good fucking Star Wars. Crazy to do Star give Wars. Give the Cohen brothers Star Wars. It'll be gritty Didn't and dark. J.J. Abrams do like the first one back. I think he may have directed one of them or something like that. But he needs to he needs to get his own writing team. Like 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 the story is bad. The story's stupid. The Star story's Trek fucking movies stupid. Are pretty fucking shit I always too. have my frustration. Do so, Star so Trek some of the Star Trek movies are, are shit. Fun. So the the good Star Trek movies are Star Trek Two: The Wrath of Khan, Star Trek Six: The Undiscovered Country. Um, as far as Next Generation: First Contact is pretty good. Most of the others are bad. The 2009 Star Trek is a very good movie. Into Darkness is a pretty damn good movie. The third Star Trek reboot movie that came out a couple years ago, where they're he's riding a BMX motorcycle or something on a planet. And we're fighting like Idris Elba in a mining ship is garbage. It, it's such a fucking slap in the face. It's such bullshit, bad. Like, like it doesn't make any sense. They're doing <laughs> things that make no sense. They're 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 doing things that make Dude, no. That's what I sense. like about Star Trek. Star Trek is this no. it, like it's a universe where knowledge of climbing in extreme sports is essential to problem solving. Like, oh no, we're captured by super bad guys. Fortunately, we have like a BMX bike here and uh, some rocket boots, and we're going to be doing awful. like free, uh, like yeah, wingsuiting. I, I, I was cringing so much the whole time. I, I was like, this is just so fucking stupid. Even the first one. So Remember like, the, the opening scene of the reboot? What's the name of the, the, you know, with the Spock? 2009 Star Trek. I think the opening scene of that, they're like uh, base jumping to deal with some sort of drilling laser Not beam into the middle of a planet. Not the opening scene, but but you know the the eighth scene or something yeah, yeah, like that. Like, you know, the once opening. the once the show gets started, uh, yeah, it's great. I was fine with that. I was fine with them base jumping because they explained why transporters are down. Shuttlecraft cannot make it through the atmosphere. We got to fucking well, There were no jump. transporters when they grabbed the motorcycle and started jumping there were. things. They transported the motorcycle in. That was part of the pl that was part of the madness. Yeah, because, you're probably you know, right. But it's still awesome. Kyle Kyle has clearly fucking encyclopedic knowledge of this of this of everything he sees. I, like, Kyle has a not a photographic memory, a videographic memory of of and, and he can just retell movies and things that uh, better than anyone I, else I know. I, I, I found myself not super thrilled about those movies, but I am I am hesitant to touch this one because I, I didn't like the Star Wars movies either. I didn't really like Star Trek movies, but now like when you're like citing like names and dates and like storylines of them, like fuck, I just remember just a general like damn that sucked. Like I <laughs> <laughs> that's like, how I am with movies. Yeah, I just remember see, like, oh that one, 
bad. <laughs> Kyle will be like, well, in the 33 minutes in, when that minor character Steve came in, he was wearing a watch, and this is set in 13th century Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> like, there, there's good Star Trek content. There is, let me say that. There is great Star Trek content. If you watch Deep Space Nine, it's the I best. Think that's been Star really good. I've only ever watched a couple episodes of that. Give it a chance. I promise. It's some of the best TV ever made. I think it there's takes a little while to warm acting. up. Yeah, by season two, you're you're loving Is it. it. Too? Like, like as soon as oh, you yeah. see Cisco shave his head and grow a grow a goatee, it's I'm go curious. time. I remember it's it being so it's three like the echelon so. of Star Wars movies. Like you put the original three from like the seventies and early eighties. They're really bad. And then if you then the them. three in the two thousands, and then the ones I, now are the worst. They're all garbage. I, I can't watch a single Star Wars. The, the best Star Wars movie was the one the most the recent one where there was like a prequel where the rebels go and uh, everybody dies at the end. I can't think of the name of it. <laughs> That's the best Star Wars movie ever made. That was pretty decent because there was. The, well, I think they're, they're children's movies, right? So again, like that's the, I, I have a little bit of this issue with Star Trek because Star Trek is like it's like the goody two shoe. Like how do I say it? It's it's so clean in a way that doesn't reflect reality that I really dislike about it. Like, uh, you know, like I, I understand it's science fiction. Not I, always. I like, like, Star Trek. Yeah, like I'm, in particular, I'm thinking of Cisco killing a bunch of Maquis just to show what a fucking badass he is. Is this Deep Space Nine? Because I haven't seen a lot of that. Yeah, it is yeah, Deep, Deep Space, Space Nine. Nine. There's an episode where he didn't I'll kill them. <laughs> yes, he did. No, sit back, Filthy. You're about no, to get the whole rundown. <laughs> so, so, so he didn't kill him, but what he did, there, there's this Maquis like, general, and he's like, surrender to me, or I'm going to destroy that planet that you're living on right now and make it uninhabitable. And he's like, I'm calling your bluff, Mr. Cisco. And he's like, Mr. Wolf! Lord the torpedoes! And he's like, yes, Captain, because Wart Wart doesn't give a fuck. He'll kill some people. Fire! And the guy's like, what the fuck did you just do? He's like, now that planet will be uninhabitable for the next 10 years. And he's like, I can't believe you've done that. There are 18 more Maquis planets in this sector. Mr. Worf, love four more torpedoes! And he's like, yes, sir. And the guy's like, <laughs> all right! All right, goddammit, if you're going to be nuking planets, I'll surrender and do whatever you want. He's like, that's right, you know bitch like he doesn't give a fuck he's he's hard fucking core and and deep space nine is excellent it's the best tv show ever made star trek 2 the wrath of khan That's is a real claim. good tv show you, you know it, it, it's it's gritty it's hard they kill they they kill uh uh a, a lot of main characters a lot of shit's going down it's, it's well, hard. the understood I, I might have taken this with a grain of salt until one of the times on pk you recommended a reddit sub forum which is like uh the 411 of like porn and ever yeah. since this recommendation, I've been forced, forced to take your recommendation with a grain of salt. I am actually probably going to have to look up Deep Space Nine after this. I, I promise you, dude, you will love Deep Space Nine if you give it a chance. Like, like it's right. not a bunch of like ridiculous like. Can I find it on Netflix? Do you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's all on Netflix. Sold. Like, all right. There's powerful acting and and like there's character development. How old is Deep Space Nine associated with Star Trek? Deep Space, Nine, Deep Space Nine was like in the late uh, 90s. Um, okay, so not that old. Yeah, it's not that old. The, the special effects stand up. A um, couple of interesting things about it. There's a war. Like like a a, 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 a a war that involves all of the main players that you're familiar with in Star Trek. Not that you are familiar with them, but you know you, you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That the goes factions. on for years. That goes on for like multiple seasons. They are fighting these these aliens that are from a whole nother side of the galaxy and they're losing and they're getting their asses kicked and main characters are dying and 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 like hard decisions are made like in more like like it's like you know th this group over here doesn't want to join the war with us you know it's kind of like world war ii or something like that like, like we're gonna have to make a false flag to drag the fucking americans in this scenario into the war and there's this real big moral quandary with the main character where he's like are we gonna kill people and frame people up to drag the Americans into this war so that billions and billions don't die? And the answer ends up being yes. And it's 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 great. It's a super powerful episode. There's lots of them like that. Um, it's it's real good. Good acting. And character development's important for me in those series because I watch like Voyager or Star Trek: The Next Fucking Generation. Voyager, Voyager was and so bad, man. There's an episode of Voyager where like the captain and Tom Paris both get like reverse. Uh, evolved like devolved into like lizards and they fuck and they make lizard babies and the next episode that's already happening in china the next episode they act like it's no big deal taylor if you and i get devolved and make lizard babies together we're never going to be the same again 
Okay. No. Like, like, we're going to be sitting around like. <sighs> you think it was the crab legs that caused that? I'd like, be like, well, at least I was the boy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> shut up. You shut up. You promised you'd never bring that up. You promised you never told me that you were the boy lizard. You know, it would be, it would, it would shatter. Uh, it would shatter us. It, it would break us. And that, that happens a lot. Or maybe and, we'd then, become gay. And then the, maybe we would. But then the but next episode, they're all true. fine. They're all fine the next episode. In Deep Space Nine, a character's wife dies, right? We can all imagine what it's like to lose your wife. It'd be a, it'd be a shattering experience. He's fucked up for a year. A year later, he's like, he's he's crying and upset because in his religion, she doesn't get to go to the afterlife because her death wasn't heroic enough. And he's like, we have to, the only way to get my dead wife into heaven is for us to go do some badass shit in her name. And I need all of her friends to join me on this quest. We're going to go in one ship and we're going to destroy an entire enemy shipyard by blowing up a sun. And they're like, that get her into heaven. Like, <laughs> you damn right it would. Let's go. And it's like, fuck yeah, they're going to go in one ship and blow up a star to like destroy an entire enemy shipyard, like to get his wife into some make believe place. Let's go. Nice. You know, it's good show. Good show. Deep Space Nine. I looked up the thing about did he kill them? I saw two web pages, read them both, and they're still scrambling to evacuate. So I'm not, I don't did have a clear one? answer. They got they, out. The colony of Maquis. Yeah, they were scrambling oh, to see. evacuate when he poisoned the whole colony. And Kyle and I interpreted it differently. I need to watch the episode again. Yeah, I promise you they get out. Yeah, okay. Um, but I, 